Fascism in Ukraine is a shadowy spectre that refuses to fade away. It lurks in the corners of political discourse, it creeps into the rhetoric of nationalist parties, and it colours the perception of the nation on the world stage. It's a story that begins not in the 21st century, but in the tumultuous years of the early 20th century. And it's a story that is still being written today. The seeds of fascism in Ukraine were planted in the aftermath of the First World War. The chaos and devastation of the conflict gave rise to a sense of national identity, a desire for self-determination that was met with fierce resistance from both internal and external forces. The struggle for independence was a fertile breeding ground for extremist ideologies, and it was in this environment that the first fascist movements began to take root. The interwar years saw the rise of organizations like the Organization of Ukrainian Nationalists, a group that espoused a radical form of nationalism and sought to establish an independent Ukrainian state by any means necessary. Their methods were often violent, and their ideology was tinged with the same kind of racial and ethnic supremacy that characterized the fascist movements of Germany and Italy. The Second World War only served to further entrench these ideologies. The occupation of Ukraine by Nazi Germany was a period of intense persecution and genocide, but it also provided an opportunity for the organization of Ukrainian nationalists to collaborate with the occupiers in the hopes of achieving their own nationalist objectives. In the years following the war, the specter of fascism never fully disappeared. It lay dormant, suppressed by the iron grip of the Soviet Union, but it was never truly extinguished. With the collapse of the Soviet Union in the early 90s, the ghost of fascism began to stir once more. The Orange Revolution of 2004 and the Euro Maiden protests of 2013 and 2014 marked a turning point in the resurgence of fascist ideologies. Far-right parties like Svoboda and Right Sector gained prominence, their nationalist rhetoric resonating with a population disillusioned by corruption and economic instability. So, what does this all mean? The rise of fascism in Ukraine is a complex and multifaceted phenomenon. It's a story of national identity and self-determination, of resistance and collaboration, of ideology and pragmatism. It's a story that is deeply rooted in the past, but it's also a story that is very much about the present. The presence of fascist ideologies in Ukraine is a stark reminder of the dangers of extremism, of the destructive power of hate and intolerance. But it's also a reminder of the resilience of the human spirit, of the enduring desire for freedom and independence. It's a reminder that the struggle for a just and equitable society is never truly over that the fight against fascism is a fight that must be waged in every generation. The rise of fascism in Ukraine is a cautionary tale, a warning of the dangers of unchecked nationalism and the corrosive influence of extremist ideologies. But it's also a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit, a testament to the resilience of a people who refuse to be defined by hate and intolerance. This is a story that is still being written, a story that is as complex and multifaceted as the nation it seeks to define. It's a story that is not yet finished, and it's a story that will continue to shape the future of Ukraine for years to come.